Demand for COVID-19 vaccines in this country and Ontario slowly dropping and tonight the city of Hamilton is planning to close some of its largest scale vaccination clinics. There will soon be a transition to smaller locations like pharmacies and pop ups with one happening at Gage Park today targeting younger people. Matt Ingram tells us more. In a parking lot at Gage Park in Hamilton, a vaccination pop-up clinic is offering first and second doses to anyone 12 and up without appointments. It's very important that my family and myself and that they get vaccinated. I don't think we have the time now to sit back and just wait for the fourth wave to come. I wasn't booked till September for my second dose, so I've been trying to get it, but I don't want to wait in line with a bunch of people. It was really fast and it just like was over and done and like 10 minutes. From what we've seen, demand for this pop-up clinic has been low today. There have been no lines or rushes of people, and at times there's only staff inside the vaccination tent. I was very surprised that there was no line. I thought there'd be a big line up, but there's not. Well, we've certainly seen some leveling out in terms of demand. Hamilton's Medical Officer of Health, Dr. Elizabeth Richardson, says the lower demand is part of the reason the city is phasing out its mass vaccination sites. By the end of August, all three will be closed as the vaccination efforts transition to smaller clinics like the one at Gage Park. We will continue on with the mobile clinics that we're doing, those uh, primary care clinics with the pharmacies are continuing on. 66% of Hamilton's population has received one dose and more than 50% are now fully vaccinated, but the rates are significantly lower in the areas around Gage Park. In the nearby L8L postal code, only 30% are fully vaccinated. Richardson says public health is concerned about vaccination rates in these areas, and she thinks giving people easier access will help. We have had some significant progress um, across all of them. We're really happy that they keep moving forward, but they are um, still in those, those lower levels. After hours is actually the key time that's most accessible for them. Narinder Nan is the counselor for this area, and she says many residents are lower income frontline workers who can't take time off work to get vaccinated. She wants the walk-in park clinic model rolled out across her ward with a clear schedule. Community-based clinics in each one of our rec centers um, move those mobile clinics that are outdoor in parks into each of the parks. The counselor also told me that people in her ward in this area around Cage Park are getting COVID at a higher rate than in other parts of the city, so removing barriers to access in these neighborhoods are going to be a critical part of curtailing the disease. Now, I should say that right now there are more people accessing the clinic than there were earlier today when we were talking to people. If you're interested in coming down and getting a shot here, the clinic will continue tomorrow.